Sometimes just getting started is the hardest part of making music. But once you do, everything sort of picks up momentum and starts flowing. So today I wanted to share five song starter tools with you that help me out on those days where I'm feeling a little blocked. Hopefully one of these will help you out, but let's get started. Arcade is one of those plugins that definitely has a strong community of users, but I don't know. For as good as Arcade is, I feel like I just don't hear as many people talking about it as I should. If you're new to Arcade, it's essentially a virtual instrument that has a few different sides to it. First, you have the sampler. You can choose any of these kits to play. Think of kits kind of like presets. Each kit gives you 15 different samples to play with. Those samples are spread across your white keys. And then your black keys are used as modifiers so you can play and manipulate samples right on the fly. I think it's a really musical and expressive way to play with samples and really make them your own. You also have all of these playable instruments. And with these, think of these like any other software instruments, single sound source spread out chromatically across the keyboard, and you get all sorts of different instrument sounds in here. You can also use the kit generator to create your own kits, and Arcade is compatible with any sample that you wanna use. Just drag and drop onto Arcade and start playing. Also, everything in Arcade is organized really well into these lines. These are like genres or styles. It just makes it really easy to find a sound or a sample you're looking for. Arcade is also updated all the time with new kits, new lines, new instruments, so there's always something fresh to try out and get inspired by. I really like that Arcade is completely unlimited to use. There's no credit system or price tiers that unlock different features. You can visit the link in the description for a free month-long trial of Arcade, see how you like it. I definitely think Arcade is worth checking out. Captain Chords is one of five plugins that's included in Captain Plugins Epic, and it's one of my favorite tools for coming up with unique chord progressions, like really quickly. So when you open Captain Chords, you can just start adding in chords right away. And you'll see as I hover over each one of these chords, some chord extensions appear beneath it. And if you don't see a chord that you're looking for, you can click this custom button. I want to add a D flat 13. It's a lot of notes, so we're going to take the complexity down a little bit. You also have the option to come over here to chord progressions. You can go down a bank, select what genre you want to use, and then you'll have all sorts of different chord progressions that you can use within that genre. Let's just pick Dorian chords because it's fun, and you'll see you have all of these different chord progressions to choose from. You can also click on this little cycle icon and cycle through different options. Then when you find a chord progression that you like, you can adjust things like inversion, change the complexity of each chord, you can change the octave, and you can also change your different chord extensions like we already talked about. You can also use this Captain Play feature to use Captain chords with your MIDI keyboard or your computer keyboard. You also have a bunch of sound presets that come with Captain Chords and all of the Captain plugins for that matter. And a lot of these presets are from the Phase Plant Synth by Kilohertz. You'll notice the little icon next to those particular presets. But you can also use Captain plugins with one of your favorite software instruments just by selecting from this menu here. So I just quickly cooked up this chord progression. And it's sounding good, but I want to spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to come down here to this rhythm section and start looking at a bunch of these different rhythms. You can browse by genre. You can browse by category. Like if I wanted to turn these chords into an arpeggio, I can go in, pick an arpeggio. And already we have something a lot more interesting than what we started with. 
Probably what I like most about Captain Plugins is, yes, each of the plugins can work individually, but they work really well together. So we have our arpeggio here, and Captain Chords has logged these chords for us. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna grab a new software instrument, and I'm gonna load in Captain Deep. Now, Captain Deep is the bass plugin, and you can see down here it has already imported the chords that we created in Captain Chords. And if we click on Rhythm, we can just start messing around with some different patterns. Let's go down to Funky House. There's usually some good stuff in here. So whether you need chords or melodies or bass parts or drum beats, Captain Plugins has all of those bases covered. So really useful plugins, especially as song starters. So check out the link in the description below for more info. So I wanted to be sure that I had a free to use tool on this list and there's no better place for that than BandLab. A lot of people are familiar with Studio, which is BandLab's free to use DAW. But BandLab has some other really cool tools as well. SongStarter in particular is an obvious fit for this video. It's really easy to use. You start by just selecting some genres, select to get started, and SongStarter will generate a few different options for you. Click this dice icon to generate new ideas. You can click this icon over here to change the mood. So I like this one. I'm gonna open it in studio. Let's take a listen to the keys. I actually really like this instrument patch, but if I wanted to change it, you can come up here and BandLab have a ton of different software instruments for you to pick from. Now in studio, you can edit, you can mix. I can record on top of these tracks. Just press the plus button. You can add a new track and start recording. But sometimes what I like to do is I'll take these chords, export the MIDI data, bring it into my DAW and start building out a song that way. So let's hear what that sounds like. BandLab has a ton of great tools to help you generate ideas, start songs, and again, everything is completely free to use. I've been having a ton of fun with Splitter lately. You can basically create stems out of any audio file you want. I will link my video on Splitter in the description below, but definitely head over to BandLab and check out some of these tools. I definitely used to be a little skeptical about MIDI chord packs, but I guess one day I just got a little curious and I decided to buy the Unison MIDI chord pack to see what all the hype was about. The Unison MIDI chord pack gives some like really great foundational building blocks that you can make chord progressions out of. Everything is organized by key, so you just pick a key that you like and you can see you have all of your diatonic triads, both major and relative minor. And if you just drag these into a session, you can see you have all of your diatonic triads here and you can move these around and make chord progressions out of those. You also get all of your extended chords and they have them individually and then they've also provided a MIDI file with just all of the extended chords for your particular key. So here you have all of your one chord extensions, then your two chord extensions, three chord, four chord, five chord, all the way up to your seven chord. 
You even get all of these borrowed and modal chords in case you want to get a little saucy. And basically how this works is you just drag chords onto your session and create chord progressions. You also get 24 major progressions and 24 minor progressions in this chord pack as well. These are great song starters and definitely a great place to start, but I definitely wish I would have known about all of these genre specific chord packs, specifically these famous MIDI chord packs. The famous MIDI chord packs basically take chord progressions from famous songs that you can recycle and reuse and kind of make your own. And these packs are definitely better if you have like a specific vibe in mind for the song you're making. I recently did a custom music project for a pretty big brand. And when I got the project brief, they were basically like, hey, we need music that sounds like it could be on the Billboard charts. Uh, yeah, no, no big deal. With that said, this Billboard MIDI chord pack definitely saved me on a couple of those days where I was really striking out. And one of my favorites to come out of this whole project started with the chords from Happier. I sped up the tempo and transposed the chords and started building out the song until I got this. Yeah. I'll be sure to link my favorite MIDI chord packs in the description below for you. A lot of us are Splice subscribers, so I wanted to share a couple of Splice tips or deep cuts, I guess, that you might find useful. This first tip, I think you can only do on the website, but come up here to sounds and then go over here to where it says MIDI. A lot of the sample packs that are on Splice have MIDI progressions, bass lines, melodies, and just scroll through all of these different MIDI packs. This neon pop is one I really like and I love sample magic. They make great stuff. So then you come into the pack and it looks like normal, but if you come over here to extras, this is where you're going to find all of those MIDI progressions. I love that one. So we're going to grab this. Then you can just take this file, drag it right onto your session. And now that I have my chords, I can start making a song. I can rearrange these chords. I can start recording parts on top of it. But this is definitely one of my favorite quick and easy ways to find some really good chords to use as song starters. My next splice tip, this one's pretty obvious, but in the splice app, come up here to your search bar, just type in song starter. It can be one word and you'll get all of these different samples. You can filter by genre, So these will sound pretty cool. They're usable just as is. You can chop them up, you can add beats to them. But to take it a step further, let's check out this one here. This is the one I wanna use. So we're gonna click on the pack and we are going to go to this little magnifying glass and we're gonna type in Lipa because the name of this song I think is Lipa. And you'll see here, here's our song starter. And now we have all of the individual stems from this particular song. Here's the bass part. This doesn't always work, but I usually find with a song starter that I like, that sample pack will include a lot of the individual stems from that song. So I'm gonna bring some of these stems into the DAW and see what I can cook up. I 
I'll leave some links in the description below to some of my favorite splice packs. All right, my friends, that is going to wrap up today's video. I'm Patrick. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.